let me show you why this Bangkok street food stall is so famous. Look at this food. It looks unbelievable and the portion sizes are huge. It looks absolutely stunning. My guys, your mouth watering for some crab? I think it is. Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens in Bangkok, Thailand. We are on our way to go eat at this awesome looking street food stall. Ying, what's the name of the stall? Nong Rim Klong. Nong Rim Klong. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the name. Uh, this place has been getting very popular and has been really shared a lot on social media lately in Bangkok and in Thailand. Um, and you will see that the food looks awesome and so I'm very excited to go check it out today. Mommy! He's looking at microphone, Matt. He's looking at your what? Microphone. The microphone? Yeah. And now we eat. And now we eat. We made it to Ekamai. That wasn't too bad of a drive. And what soy is it on you? 21. 21. Okay, so we gotta go down the street to soy 21. And I'm not sure exactly where we'll park, but we'll try to find a parking and then walk there. We made it to soy 21, and it's, a, it's gonna be a very much better idea to take public transportation, uh, take a taxi here. Parking was a bit of a mission impossible, but we finally made it. We made it to the restaurant. Micah is here. It is situated next to a canal, which is not the cleanest canal that I've ever seen. And then they are cooking right there and they have a few tables set up. And then I've also heard that a lot of people uh, order takeaway. They hire motorbike drivers to come here and wait in line to place their orders. But luckily we got here pretty early. It's about 10.45 a.m. before the main lunch rush. And Ying is... Let's zoom in on Ying. She is right there putting in our order. Even though there's not a lot of people sitting here, a lot of people pre-order, and so they've got a lot of orders to make. But she is just flying on that walk. You can hear the walk clanking. And actually, this is just an awesome street food stall. It is literally, they are, the restaurant and all the cooking and the kitchen is on top of a bridge that goes across the canal. And then the, the sink is absolutely classic. The sink just like runs straight into the canal. And you can, along with the, the smell of the canal, you can, you can, it's overpowered by the wonderful smell of frying garlic and chilies and that crab and all the, the seafood that she's cooking. They are known here especially for their seafood dishes, especially their crab, um, shellless crab. And that is an entire wok full of shellless crab and she just added a bunch of eggs. Oh, and so many good. If you just stand here, that aroma pouring out of the wok is just beautiful. And she is an amazing chef. She's even talking on the cell phone, multitasking as she's cooking. Some serious skills. Micah's sleeping through this entire experience. Hello, Micah.
That was about a 45 minute wait, but let me show you why this Bangkok street food stall is so famous. Look at this food. It looks unbelievable and the portion sizes are huge. Even photos do not do justice how beautiful this food is here. And normally if Ying and I go to eat at a street food restaurant like this, we can easily eat like four to eight dishes between the two of us. So we ordered four dishes here. These are monstrous. And just the, the ingredients that they use. At the front over here, this one is tom yum. Tom yum like a kale. It's a mixture of seafood, tom yum. I love how they put on just a whole handful of just not even chopped cilantro, just whole cilantro and dried fried um, chilies, which are just crushed on top. That is looking wonderful. Let me just go ahead and taste that broth. Ying has been Ying has been tasting the broth and she says it is awesome. That is so sour. That it will almost make your eyes squint. Oh, but the the like the depth of seafoody flavor in there is awesome as well and you can taste the dry chilies in there as well as the, like a refreshing cilantro taste. This is the smallest plate of food we have here and this one is Gung Tod Ga Tiem, which is shrimp fried with garlic. It is a little bit oily, there's a little bit of a pool of oil but then there's there's like it's just topped with a bunch of crispy garlic and these are kind of curled up. Let me put a couple of these guys onto my rice. <laughs> you can smell that garlic. What I like to do to take off the tails is kind of poke it with my fork and then go in with my spoon at the very end there so that hopefully it releases... Oh no, that didn't work at all. Okay, there we go, slide that off. That entire shrimp just tastes like fried garlic. <laughs> and it's so meaty and a little bit oily, but really, really fragrant. Yeah, that shrimp is also like a, it's very muscular indeed. This is one of their signature dishes here. It's called Kalampi Padnampla Nepu. And it's uh, cabbage on the bottom, which she stir fried. And then there is some kind of signature mixture of, um, of crab meat, plus maybe egg, plus I'm not sure what else, but this is just what a beautiful pile of food this is. And I think maybe get some of this crab with a piece of the, the cabbage. And these are just like whole sheets of cabbage. Look at that. I think you just gotta go in for the whole bite. That's like half cooked scrambled eggs with little nuggets of crab meat mixed all in and then with crisp like lightly wilted cabbage to give it a like fresh crispness what a it's not a spicy dish or a very very, very like really flavorful dish but it's so rich and so good all oh, that egg and crab and then the final dish that we ordered and this dish looks like it's going to be my favorite even from just looking at it is pad kimao bu and pad kimao is a is a pretty well-known thai dish uh, called it translates to to like drunken um, stir-fried crab and there is just a, a mess of ingredients in here you can see all of the crab meat there's basil in here there's kaffir lime leaves there are eggplant there are shallots maybe those are onions there's just chilies like mixed in this whole dish and it looks absolutely stunning is there anything else down here that I missed oh this is just a solid plate oh lots of slices of gachai which is finger root in here as well Put this on to my rice. That's the ultimate dish. Oh, even like literally before I, I even chewed, before I even closed my mouth, I could taste that sweet basil just overwhelming my mouth. Oh, and then the gachai, that gingery flavor. You've got the nuggets of like stringy sweet crab. And then you can also really taste the kaffir lime meat leaves in there giving it a, a citrusy flavor as well. Okay, moving back over to the tom yum. I'm gonna mix it up. 
Oh, there's fish in here, dude. Look at that nugget of fish. That tom yum is stunning. Kind of big? Yeah, that one. The restaurant is packed now, all of the seating. And I found that Micah, she starts to get really restless when you sit for too long in this bag. So I have to stand up and eat, but this is perfect. Look at the standing table they have perfectly. This food is absolutely stunning. I am absolutely stuffed right now, and I think having Micah on my stomach reduces my stomach space because he kind of presses against my stomach. I've got a little bit left to finish, and then we had to take the, the fried shrimp with garlic and a little bit of that tom yum back home. Um, so Ying is getting takeaway. She's not like packing it in a bag at the front there. Since these portions are gigantic. If you come here, I think looks like you could easily have just one plate, order one plate of food. Especially the, the pad ki mao was gigantic. The other dishes were not as big. Uh, but you could literally come here, order pad ki mao, and share between two people. That was absolutely sensational. If you want to have some awesome street food crab, um, giant portions, and it's not, a, it's not a cheap street food stall to eat at, you do pay, I think it's about 200 baht per plate, um, which is five or six dollars. So it's not cheap, but for the, the ingredients and the amount of crab that you're gonna eat, it is impressive. This is an amazing street food stall. Um, but definitely get here early because it's packed now and you have to wait in line. If you come at right at lunchtime, you gotta wait in line. Maybe they said they were saying two hours now to wait. So that was a, a very successful food journey. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this food, and also, if you leave a comment below, I would love to hear from you. And also, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you click subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from Bangkok. This will be my dinner tonight. <laughs>